Hello everyone, welcome to the quarterfinal five of the second edition of Quizzing with the Comedians. Uh, the last quarterfinal, quarterfinal four, was one of the craziest quarterfinal we've had. I never expected to have a tiebreaker in a quarterfinal, but we did. And uh, eventually, uh, Hussain Dalal and Srimai Das from that quarterfinal made it to the next uh, round, which is the semifinal. So uh, I'm going to start the quarterfinal five now. <clears throat> this uh, uh, once more we have a we have a panel with. Uh, Two people who've been here before, two people who are making their debut. Uh, the two people who've been here have not just been here, they've done extremely well. One is the semi-finalist, one is the finalist. And uh, two debutants, uh, we'll call them one by one, okay? Uh, so without much further ado, uh, I'm going to call the first participant now. Uh, give it up for Malika Dua. The next contestant uh, was the finalist last time. And uh, he is one of the strongest participants in this edition. Give it up. For Neville Shah, best ever entry in the history of uh, quizzing with comedians. One point there to Neville uh, oh, yeah. for that beautiful, beautiful background. Uh, he, uh, my, uh, my sources say that you actually played FIFA and ensure yeah, that yeah, Liverpool... I had to make sure Liverpool had to win and then played a title game to get this for you. Wow. Wow. Yeah, because Insane. because the because the last time uh, that Liverpool won, there was no FIFA. There was no internet. There was no. <laughs> Okay. Minus one. No, 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 no. Sorry. Apologies. Should not, should not, should not. Sorry. <laughs> On that note, I'm going to call the third participant. So give it up for Saurabh Pant. Hi. Who is back next. Uh, and the last contestant is again someone who is making his debut. Again, one of those people who is very, very nervous in his own words about this tournament. Uh, give it up for uh, the very funny, the very curious, and very uh, weird guy, uh, as they call themselves, Saurabh Ghosh. Hello. Hello, friends. Hi. Hi, Malika. I'm meeting you for the Hi. first time. Hi. How are you? Hi. Lovely. Hi. All Hi. good, Hi. all good. Okay. Uh, so, we're all here. All the best. Malika, Neville, Saurabh and Saurabh. Question number one. This is for Malika. This is Malika's direct. What term originating from the German for children's garden was coined by 19th century educationist? That's another hint. Frederick Frogel. Okay, we are talking about a term that comes from German that literally means children's garden and was coined by an educationist. Kindergarten? Kindergarten is correct. Beautiful answer. Yeah. Kindergarten is correct. Kindergarten is a German word. Garten uh, means garden and kinder is correct. Okay, fair enough. Self explanatory. I'm going to Neville now. Neville with a brand question. Oh, God. Apple Computer Company was founded on April 1st, 1976 by Steve Jobs, Dash, and Ronald Wayne as a business partnership. The company's first product was Apple One, a computer designed and hand-built entirely by X. Who are we talking about? Who is X? So Apple was founded by Steve Jobs, Dash, and Ronald Wayne. Dash is also the guy who designed the first ever computer. Yeah, I'm just guessing, okay? It's, it's Wozniak, right? It is Wozniak, of course. Thank it is God. Steve Wozniak. Uh, 10 points to Neville. That's one of the uh, old photos of Steve Jobs and Steve Wozniak. Uh, yeah, fun fact. Uh, his uh, autobiography is called I Was, which is one of the most uh, innovative uh, names that I've seen. It, it would be hilarious. At the radio station. But what would have been hilarious really? is if he released I Was posthumously, then it would actually be grammatically also correct. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thanks. One point. One point there to Neville for a timeline joke. On the day that Dark Season 3 came, that is a very relevant joke. Okay. <laughs> I'm going <laughs> I'm going to Saurabh now. This is Saurabh's direct. Uh, Saurabh. In Pamba River in Kerala, India's oldest dash is held every year to herald the Onam festival. Okay. Filling the blank, like FITB is filling the blank. What is the blank? What have I left out in the question? Uh, in Port Kerala, race. every year. Hmm. Yeah, Saurabh, you want to guess? Boat race. Boat race is correct. Everyone is off to a flying start. 10 points to Saurabh. India's oldest boat race or snake boat race uh, happens in Pamba River every year in Kerala. Wow. Flying start. 10, 10, 10. Brilliant. Man. Going to Saurabh Ghosh now. That's uh, like, a lot of pressure now. <laughs> slightly long text question. Guys, uh, remember when I said that you can laugh if there's an embarrassing answer? <laughs> yeah, forget that. 
like the first three the, the first three words is telling me that i don't know anything about this answer <laughs> no, no, in no. november 1922 i was not even born dude <laughs> that's fine just read the question there are enough clues so in november 1922 british archaeologist howard carter discovered something along with its treasure of more than 5000 objects mainly in solid gold okay x the thing that we are talking about was nearly intact and it took carter 6 years to excavate the treasure that he found there was laid out in five rooms and it included thrones statues furniture arms okay inside the walls of the cham- chamber in which x was found was also covered in gold okay what famous discovery are we talking about kumar have i done anything wrong to you ever <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck <laughs> Do the other three know this answer? Do you guys know this answer? Bill Finger, Bill Finger, you don't ask. I think so. Oh man! Okay, okay, एक बार फिर हाँ एक बार एक बार मेरे को समझाना कुमार एक बार फिर से simple हाँ 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 हा� uh it was not just that along with what he found there was also a lot of treasure that was around it okay? okay the thing that he found was nearly intact which is a big thing for this to be okay and it took 6 years for him to finally excavate it like properly and like for, for it to be presented to the world and everything then a uh, final final like when everything was excavated uh you could see that there were five rooms there there were thrones statues furniture these are all hints every line in this uh, In this question is a hint, like throne, statue, furniture, etc., etc. Even the walls of the chamber in which this thing lay was covered in gold. So this has to be a very important discovery, and that's why, like sort of, we are talking about it till date. Very important, significant discovery in human history. Oh, but to where? Hmm. Ah, that I haven't. Treasure was laid out in five rooms. Uh, in November, okay. Sorry, do you have a guess? Do Do I have like what unlimited time? I mean, like I've not put a time <laughs> limit. Reasonable, point. okay. Yeah, reasonable time till like the audience is like. I mean, technically, this Carter guy took six years, so I think we should give Sora for at least five. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, dude. I mean, that would have been easier than answering <laughs> this. Eight point five ko. Ah, de diya already. Uh, What's your time pe? Ah, from the Kohinoor. No, it can't be the coin. Yeah, no, the coin. But yeah, going to Malika answer. now. Malika. <laughs> pass, pass. Okay, passing. Going to Neville now. Is it the the tomb of uh, Tutankhamun? It is the tomb of Tutankhamun. Ten points to Neville. Uh, King Tut's oh. tomb. This is the famous discovery of the king. Uh, uh, the Are it, dude, I Kamen. thought it has something to do with pyramids and stuff. Can I yeah. can I give a small problem though that I think the the question is grammatically incorrect. Because it yeah. said uh, to turn come and it's and at the end it said X X can't be tomb of Tutankhamun X is like Tutankhamun so technically it's I, I'm siding with Saurabh Ghosh here and I think uh, we should fight Go for his rights. Go name sake. Yeah, सुने ना जगह बताइए ना कोई country ऐसे आप बोल ले ये Howard Green मेरा बाप का दोस्त है मतलब मेरी समझ में नहीं आ रहा इसने क्या discover किया Oh my God! One point to Malika for the rag. Hands, yeah. Uh, Your <laughs> senior most tomb. participants oh. are uh, rebelling. <laughs> King Tut's tomb, uh, as as we all know. Rebel! इतनी घटिया information क्यों है तो कहाँ पास? अरे वो पांच room और gold line lined in gold was the clue, no? That it had to be like yeah, some yeah. like royalty Egypt and all of that jazz. तो अब उसने ये तो नहीं बोला कि it it couldn't have been the pyramid because like uh, वो सब वो तो ऊपर जाना पड़ता है ये तो नहीं 
I mean, yeah, Tutin come in, also known as King Tut, T U T. King Tut. Tut. It's not a very nice uh, nickname for somebody. I'm not sure. <laughs> okay, I'm moving from this king before we get <laughs> that territory. <laughs> for all you know, that person, that person with the. Because every king is a Tut only. I mean, let's be honest. Chalo. Oh wow. Next every t- every king be... actually does Tut T. But chalo, okay, cool. Yeah. <laughs> okay, for uh, for you, we have a sports question now. At which Olympics did Milka Singh break the world record in the 400 meters event? Okay, now you can either give me the city or the year. I'll be, I'll give you a point for either of those. Okay, even if you just tell me the like venue of these Olympics or the year, I'll, I'll be like if you say uh, Beijing 2016, Beijing 2008 or something, I'll, I'll be, I'll be. Fine. This just, is my question, right? Yeah, this is Saurabh. Saurabh Pant. Tokyo 1984. Sorry, sorry. Was it Tokyo 1984 by any chance? Not Tokyo 84. Uh, I think 84 was Los Angeles, but not Tokyo or 84. Uh, going to Saurav Ghoshna. I got a point for Rai Chand. I'll give you a minus. Saurav Ghosh. Follow up email to your manager. London. Not London. Uh, do you want to take a guess on the year also in case? Uh, uh, year would be uh, I so it's four years ago to a date that you know, but I don't know a date when the Olympics happened, so I can't back calculate. So if somebody can tell me a year when the Olympics happened, no, <laughs> then maybe I can attempt. No, I'm sorry. I'll pass. No problem. I'll pass to Malika. Ek baat batao. Agar year nahi pata ho, but jagah pata ho. Haan, tum chalega. Haan, wohi to. Mainne shuru mein hi bola. Jagah ya year, dono mein se ek bhi aap bol doge. Yaar, movie to dekha tha humne. Ah, Australia, Melbourne. Oh yeah. Not Melbourne. No, that was. Nee nee, maybe I'm also from 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 the Farhan Akhtar end montage. I'm imagining all the super. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What was that movie? What a cute guy, Magawa. Oh shit, can I have another guess? No, uh, you can have a guess on the year because you said Melbourne, which is a venue, which is incorrect, but you can still guess the year. Year to bull joy, next. Okay, passing to Neville. Montage me kya kya city tha, Tokyo tha, Tokyo chala gaya. <laughs> <laughs> Australia was slow motion, Angreza, wo bhi chala gaya. Uh, France. Not the France Olympic. Uh, do you want to... Take a guess at the year also. Nine. Yeah, I know it's in 19 something. Okay. Uh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, 19. Up in down, Neville Shaw. 19. I think the. Uh, 19. Uh, 19. Uh, 60. E. 1960, four. as in 60. 60, yes. Or 64. What, what's the final answer? Six four, six four, six four. Nine fifty four. Okay, yeah. so nine fifty four is incorrect. I'll take one okay. more round. Make it a five point question. Uh, huh. We'll start with Saurabhan. Uh, so uh, you just need to give me because there's no point now guessing on the year because then you'll keep guessing multiple of four. Uh, so I, I I want the unless you're gauche and you don't know the base of four. <laughs> <laughs> you need to guess the city now. So this is a European capital. That's the hint. Yeah. Okay, we are talking about a European capital. See, London uh, is in Europe. We'll, so I should get we'll start, something. <laughs> no, we'll start with <laughs> we'll start with Saurabhan. Whenever you. Yeah, I have seen films and I have forgotten the name. So I am just going. I am going to try and do both. Which is, I think it's Rome, nineteen eighty. I don't know. No, Rome is correct, and what? Neville will rule this now. Uh, oh, sixty. Oh, motherfucker! Oh, motherfucker! Oh, oh, motherfucker. oh, oh shit! What the fuck? Rome, nineteen sixty. But this uh, was shot in, uh, but on the left, this was shot in Film City. <laughs> <laughs> shot in Priya Darshan Park. It was PDP. It wasn't even Film City. <laughs> oh, God. 1960. Uh, Rome, 1960. KV, you only confused me, by the way. No, I, I, like, I confirmed because you said a lot of years. So I wanted to confirm, like, what's your final answer? Yeah. Uh, Quiz master and... is dog. Continue, please. Uh, uh, that's Milka Singh on your right and Farhan Akhtar playing Milka Singh on your left. And I love Saurabh how Milka Singh suddenly has such 
massive muscles it's always pumping just like like he went for both uh, the run and for the weightlifting category he won both <laughs> oh, but that's 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 farhan i mean milka is not jacked it's farhan who's jacked That's yeah, what yeah. Saying. It's that's like what he's saying. Yeah, yeah. He, this is this is Milka Singh adjusted for inflation. That's the problem. Point five to Neville. We're talking about economic issue. Okay. Uh, so Saurabh uh, Saurabh Pan gets five points on this, and next direct will be uh, Saurabh Ghoshit. Okay. Yes. Saurabh, uh, read carefully. Which Bavaria-based no. automobile company? Which Bavaria-based automobile company? Built the world's first airplane engines used by the German Air Force. Okay, so look at the hints. Bavaria is first hint. Automobile company. So you are asking about a plane company or an automobile uh, or like a car company? It's an automobile company. So is it plane or cars? It's a car company. Car ki company, which made plane. Banaye the. Correct. Thanks, Kumali. <laughs> it's a. Uh, it's like mainly known as an automobile company. Why is Neville transitioning into becoming a pilot on the second? This is reference. I am uh, just no, I am I am confused. Is का मेरे को Britain का answer मालूम है German का मैं सोच रहा हूँ. अच्छा okay so uh, yeah. uh, Porsche. Uh, no, not Porsche. Porsche is not uh, German. Porsche is German, I think. I know it from your Porsche last quiz. Porsche is German. <laughs> Porsche is German, but we'll pass to Malika now. Malika, which company are we talking about? BMW. Absolutely correct. The current points to Malik. Bavarian Motor Works. Bavarian oh. Motor Works. Oh. That is why the staff is going in my head. Well done. Yeah. What the plane is going to be asked? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe you should check Bavaria. What country is it? No, no, no. That is why it was a hint. That is why I put Bavaria and not Germany because Bavaria yeah. leads you to. I was going to say Volkswagen, like, but then I was like, "Kya pata?" Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. No, Volkswagen. Knowledge of the fact that Saurabh Ghosh said Honda, which yeah. as far as I was a Japanese company, <laughs> even dude, as a fake guess. Dude, I, <laughs> I, dude, I was Mahindra. going to. I was going to say Nano, dude. <laughs> I just want to say I knew the British version of this Rolls Royce. Like I knew Rolls-Royce. that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So BMW, Bavarian Motor Works, and hence. Uh, Bavaria based. So Malika gets ten points. Uh, the next direct is for Neville. Neville, uh, this is a city name etymology. In 1919, Lord Chelmsford named this city, which was earlier a village called Sakchi, and so he renamed it to X in honor of the city's founder. Okay, so a certain person who was the city's founder, the city's name was changed in the honor of this person. This person, the founder, had written to his son Dorabji. About his vision of a great city in this area. Okay, which Eastern Indian city are we talking about? I know this. I know this. Of course, Eastern city, <laughs> na. Oh man. <laughs> so if you read, there are enough clues. Uh, uh, village called Sakchi. Sakchi is still a place in the city. One connection is, and I'm trying to make it. Yeah. One connection is enough. Because my handle was crazy. Bawa tha. For that, I'm trying to make it. Jamshedpur. Yeah. <laughs> Of course, Jamshedpur. Ten points to Neville. Uh, Tata. Yeah, uh, Sakchi renamed uh, by Lord Chelmsford in the honor of Jamshedji Tata, and uh, the answer is Jamshedpur. Ten points to Neville. Well, I appreciate the wink to the city where we had a romantic uh, getaway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you guys performed in Jamshedpur. Just, just, just yeah. want to tell you guys that uh, the the two people coming out of the gate are in actually the first engineering drawings of the Nano. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so yeah, Jamshedpur. Uh, uh, this is Neville gets full ten points on this. Next question is direct to Sorapan. Which dish? So we're talking about food now. Which dish originated in a California mining camp and took its name from the Chinese word sa sui, meaning various bits of things? Okay. So look at all the clues. Originated in in the U.S. but has Chinese connection. They do, boy. Meaning is various bits of things. So, basic all these two three clues. Combine them. What dish can you think of? This is my poker face, so that no one can read it. I feel like this is an easy question. I'm going to fuck it up and look like an asshole. 
<laughs> no, no. This Next is time. this is baited. This is basically baited me to look like a dick. <laughs> <laughs> and everybody had any expectations of me doing well uh, like he didn't know that it was such a simple question um zero try and make a tukka yeah ye ghosh ko malum hai na ghosh ka shakal dekh chupa hua hai uska shakal no at least i think i think i have a respectable guess <laughs> <laughs> at least i have a respectable guess wahi hai i think it's sahi lag raha hai वही वही है आंसर वही है हम्म आ आई 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 एम एम ट्राई मेक मेक अ अ अ अ अ डिसरिस्पेक्टफुल नो 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 पांच पांच जस्ट रीड जस्ट रीड द क्वेश्चन आउट नो इट्स फाइन फॉर टेक योर बेस्ट आई मीन देयर नो मीनिंग वेरियस बिट्स ऑफ थिंग्स द फॉक you know this is like when they say hey uh, you know what this guy has two children and one of his two children is a mother and who's the father and then the answer is his dog or whatever and everybody like you know the answer <laughs> and i feel like i'm staring at one of those puzzles <laughs> one point to sort of uh, for another children reference are pani puri bol de yaar Yeah, I'm. I'm gonna. I'm gonna say this is uh, obviously the wrong answer, and I'm gonna just uh, uh, say that it is uh, mm-hmm. dim sum. I don't. Not dim sum. Pass it to Kaurav. Kaurav Ghosh. See, see uh, can I make a deal with you, Kumar? What? <laughs> I have two scared. options. I I have two good guesses. Okay. If I like, if I give me five points. Okay. Let me say no, two. No. And no, then no, you no, give no. Me, no. Okay. No. You okay, give so, your best guess. So I'm going right, to say my, my yeah my first guess is uh, khao sui. Not khao sui. Khao sui has different origin. In <laughs> Indonesia. Uh, going Burmese. to Malaysia now. Not even Indonesia. Yeah, sorry, Burmese actually. Khao sui is Burmese. Uh, going to Malaysia now. American chop sui. Yeah, I'll give it to you. Yeah, oh, 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 chop sui. Oh, oh, yeah, chop sui. Ten point to Malaysia. Chop sui. Fuck me. I hate myself. Various bits of things. that where the origin comes and they just made like added everything and made it a thing a dish and it's called chop sui see okay, kavi i gave you the... i gave you credit so much that i thought that maybe sui was a you know hint i was going to say general souls chicken maine kaha ye inhone hi banaya wahan pe west coast mein no no i only got the answer when varun read the question and then he said sa sui i was like ah yeah ah. and then mix okay. of shit like that was yeah. actually very bit of thing By the way, guys, honestly, my second guess would have also been wrong. <laughs> <laughs> What was your second guess? <laughs> my second guess would have been sushi, <laughs> sushi. Yeah, which is Japanese. Japanese. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what my confusion in my head was, and this is such a dumb thing, is that I have always had American chop suey in Shivsagar restaurant. Yeah. <laughs> in my head, <laughs> I was thinking I'm not associated. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Okay, the first half of the quiz is over. These are uh, right now. Malika and Neville are leading with thirty points each. Uh, hey, Sora, thirty odd. Okay, thirty. Oh man. Sora Pant is behind them with fifteen, and Sora Ghosh is behind Sora Pant. Okay, but a lot of things can change. Thank you, thank you for up. not saying Ghosh is at zero. <laughs> <laughs> I try and avoid it in every quiz, but the participants themselves do it. Like I did it with Kanish and Tanmay and Saurav Ghosh. This is the third time it's happening. When I oh, so I am so just... so I am not the only person who's scored zero. Oh, that's no, not at all. Not at all. Oh, that's it's fine. Nice completely do. fine. Completely fine. Okay. Uh, like I said in the beginning, the order will now change in the second half. So we'll start with Saurav Ghosh now, then Saurav Khan, then Neville, then uh, Malika. Okay. 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 In that. Okay. 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 So this so is Saurav. So I'm Saurabh. last now, na? No? First Saurav. Yeah. 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 Okay. Got it. Correct. Correct. So Ghosh, Saurav, Neville, Malika. Yeah. This is Ghosh's direct. Which Palestinian terrorist group was responsible for the Munich Olympic massacre of 1972? Okay, we all know uh, in Munich Olympics, a few terrorists entered the Olympic village, and then it became a big issue. If you've seen the movie Munich, that movie starts with this scene, and the movie is all about taking a revenge for this uh, this particular incident. So this is Palestinian and a terrorist group. Uh, I'm just looking for their name. Palestinian terrorist group. Man, I think I know only one terrorist group. 
Uh, I'm gonna say the obvious wrong answer, Al Qaeda. Not Al Qaeda. Only one God. Okay, Saurabh, Saurabh Pan. Uh, I mean, I I know that the their uh, I know the police are not. I don't know what the mm-hmm. very big answer. I, this is obviously the wrong answer, but I'm. Uh, it's 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 not Mossad, so I'm just saying that. That's a uh, no. Wait, 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 wait. Am I allowed to re-guess? Ah, fuck uh, it. Mm, I don't okay. Pass answer. it to Neville. Ah, shit! I fucked it up. Huh? Uh, mine. It's yeah. it's Black September. It is Black September. Ten points to Neville. Oh, Black September yeah. are notorious for uh, what they did in 1972. Wasn't it Hamas? What no, is Hamas Black is still. Hamas, Hamas is, is still present along with PLO because. and all of yeah. that. No, oh. and Mossad is Hamas. the um, Mossad is the Israeli. Yeah, I yeah, know. That's why I said it's the wrong answer because I'm reading a book called Mossad, so I was like, "Fuck it, might as well just say something." <laughs> Mossad is the intelligence agency of uh, Israel. Hamas is, is is in fact a political party based out of Palestine, and Fatah is another one which is slightly more extremist than Hamas. So Hamas, Fatah, PLO, they and all. And shakshuka like, is a great dish with eggs and tomatoes. <laughs> uh, can I just say something? I'm and reading a Shashi book. Shashi Kala is a great character. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm Tara. reading a book about the Mossad, and I know the kind of stuff that they're capable of. So I want to apologize to all my Israelis and all the Mossad that uh, that was a mistake. And uh, please let me yeah. live. Uh, I apologize yeah, yeah. to everybody. This is next. Derek is for Malika. Uh, Malika, what kind of fermented juice made of spirit, Array. sugar, and hot water? Takes its name from the Hindustani word for palm tree. Okay, so we are talking about etymology of a certain word, which is a fermented juice. I mean, a drink basically. Uh, and the etymology, like the word, comes from India. Uh, so we have the root of how the word comes and what it means. So basically, it is a spirit. Uh, sorry, it is. Got uh, it. it. Yeah, it's made of sugar. Is it? Water. Uh... Toddy, toddy, whatever. Yeah, absolutely correct. It is toddy. Yeah. Ten toddy. points to Malika. Toddy comes from toddy. Yeah, you're right. Toddy is yeah. palm tree, and then it became toddy. It became toddy eventually. So yeah, ten points to Malika. Next, direct to Thorav Ghosh. Uh, I have another etymology question. Another word that came from India. Which tree of the fig family takes its name from the caste of merchants? Who often conducted their business under these trees in the marketplace? Okay, so we are talking about a tree from the fig family. That's number one. How that tree got its name is because a group of merchants used to conduct their business under this tree. Okay, and the merchants' caste, the caste of those merchants, lent its name to the tree's name. Okay, so what tree are we talking about? It takes its name from the caste of merchants. Who often conducted their business under these trees? Yeah, so like marketplace, me there are trees within that when under those under the shade of the tree, uh, there are people who are conducting their business. Those people uh, I mean, belong there, to there a certain no... class. Go for it. I mean, there are no trees called Marwaris. <laughs> so. <laughs> Won't be. <laughs> no clue, dude. No clue. Passing? Are you passing? Yep. Okay. No, pass I tried to. Yeah. Saurabh, Saurabh Pan. Is it Khajur? Is that anything? Um, not Khajur. Pass it. Khajur, what is caste? Hai. Pata nahi. Mujhe nahi malum. Mujhe kaha malum. I don't look at caste of people. I look at people as they are. Wow. Nee, nee, quiz me to theko dekhni padegi na. What? Okay, Neville, you are direct. I mean, pass it to you now. I have a joke answer. Sure, go ahead. Tree of the fig family. The colloquial word of for for many uh, thing is people. So people. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. uh, But do you have your final answer? One, just give me give me give me one minute. I'm just trying to. I enjoyed how Neville tried to go for the joke answer for the one point, and even that was rejected by Kumar. <laughs> <laughs> Because it's 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 actually a proper like tree, no? So I was like, I yeah, yeah. If he said things like family tree or binary tree, I don't know, <laughs> big tree, 
हमारे स्कूल का ये सिंबल है ये अरे क्या सस्पेंस में रख रहा है बोलना बनिया से बैनियन ट्री ओ मैन बट आई डेन नॉट फेगन ऑल आई जस्ट नो की मतलब अरे नो वन एवर टोल्ड अस इट्स फेग ऑल वी न्यू की मतलब अरे बट इट इन द फकिंग थिंग ट्रेडर मर्चेंट का ट्रेडर मर्चेंट काजू सोच रहा था cool so banya uh, so uh, is the merchant class like we all know and they used to conduct business under the trees and that's how the tree got it uh, that's, that's a banya. simple question we should have got it. okay this is just humiliating okay malika gets 50 uh, malika is on 50 now and uh, next direct will again be to sarav gosh okay sarav your direct ex oh. reporter in the land of soviet was the first ever ex adventure published in 1930 what is ex okay look at the clues reporter adventure uh, being published for a long time now what are we talking about okay ex reporter in the land of soviet was the first ever ex adventure published in 1930 what is ex fairly direct question compared to the other question uh it's going to sound stupid james bond Or James Bond, and not a reporter. Saurabh Pant. Tintin. Absolutely correct. It is Tintin. Ah, uh, ten points to Saurabh. Tintin is a famous reporter in the land of Soviet. That's the cover. Ah, uh, Tintin. Uh, and like very recently, I found out the French call it Tantan and not Tintin, like the rest of the world. It's originally called like Tantan. ये 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 मैं इसको देख रहा था कि पहला नाम क्या है क्रिश्चियन लोबुथा गेट फुल पॉइंट्स ऑन दिस एंड कूल सो राइट नाउ मलिका इज ऑन फिफ्टी नेवल इज ऑन फोर्टी सौरभ इज ऑन ट्वेंटी थ्री लाइक टू ऑफ देम can What? qualify for the final oh, man, isn't, there one, isn't that one question that will give me all the points It's still uh, oh actually statistically you are still in the game okay so I, that's all i need left. man that's all i yeah, need yeah there's still four questions left and if you huh. score if you get all 40 points you might you might have a tie breaker with neville okay so statistically you are there you are still there okay yes uh sarapan got tanta tata or tintin tanta uh, which means <laughs> the next direct question will be neville Nevin, I'm explaining something. Just tell me what we are talking about. At 7:55 a.m. on Sunday, December the seventh, the, the, Jack- the, the attack on Pearl Harbor. Yeah, the attack on Pearl Harbor. The attack on Pearl Harbor. Yeah, absolutely correct. Ten points to Nevin. It is. Uh, we are explaining the attack on Pearl Harbor. I'm just going to stay here for a while in case anyone from the audience wants to read like what what we asked. Okay, so on a particular Sunday morning in December seven, uh, there was a first wave of attack happened. Then after 45 minutes, another wave of attack happened. in the next two hours more than 2000 servicemen died more than 1000 people were wounded some civilians also died some civilians were wounded japanese also lost a few people what are we talking about the answer is uh, pearl harbor uh, which of course changed the course of the second world war i know i'm going to commit blasphemy out here but uh, and i know that the host the quiz master is god but uh, does anyone know of any other japanese attacks of the top of your head yes 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 <laughs> yes yes tora 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 good point Oh, tora 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 was attack 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 it was uh, uh for the japanese uh, naval ships that attacked the uh, the hawaiian ships uh, secretly so there was that then so there were a couple of these like japanese hidden attacks aur ye sare aapke the grudge films usme kya ho raha tha grudge films de de yaar ke bhi ek point 
Please KV. Dude, you know what will be the best part is if one of the future questions is about the Japanese attack on Hawaii and Neville just gave us the answer. <laughs> no, no. Uh no no I was just thinking like it's very uh, like in quizzing you always okay for I don't want to talk about it. Oh, uh, I'm going to uh, uh Malika now uh, this again is a uh, uh we're talking about a certain famous place okay originally a benedictine or benedictine monastery by what name is the collegiate church of saint peter set up by queen elizabeth in 1560 now known Okay, originally a Benedictine monastery. Uh, what is the more common name of this place that we are talking about? This was set up by Queen Elizabeth in 1560. The Queen Elizabeth is the end in terms of in what area you should think of. Uh, and the like the other name is Collegiate Church of Saint Peter, but we don't know it by Collegiate Church of Saint Peter. We know it by a certain slightly more common name. Mm. Uh, what uh, landmark or what place are we talking about? Is it oh. the Westminster Abbey? Beautiful answer. Great crack. Oh. Westminster Abbey. Oh. Oh. Mere wala ka. Crown dekh liyo main aaj kal. Great. Mere wala ka answer Bihar Hindu University, uh, Banaras Hindu University. <laughs> <laughs> Westminster oh, Abbey. That's literally correct. the only place I know associated with the Queen. So, मतलब ये ही था answer. Yeah. Yeah. Great. मैं Church of England बोल देता bro. गलत. नहीं यहाँ पे coronation नहीं होती उनकी. I don't yeah, know. Yeah. Abbey is correct. Uh, and then now we move to Saurav Ghosh. We move to the last two questions now. Uh, now, now statistically it's impossible. Yeah, so... statistically it's impossible for Saurav Ghosh now to qualify. So should we just? Saurav, this is a, another comic question. Which comic yeah. character was created by two seventeen-year-olds, Jerry Siegel and Joe Shuster, for Action Comics in June nineteen thirty-eight? We are talking about a comic character created by these two young guys, Jerry Siegel and Joseph Joseph Schuster, uh, in 1938 for action comic. What comic book? What com- comic character are we talking about? Yeah, this Schuster wale ki dictionary nahi hai. थर्टींथी ट्रेवल ऑफ written by this guy called rusticello da pisa from stories that were told to him by x okay so x told the stories and that's why the book is called the travels of x the books basically describe x's travel through asia between 20 1271 and 1295 and his experiences at the court of kublai khan okay who are we talking about so we are talking about a traveler uh, he has a lot of travel logs they are named after him uh timeline is also given like 13th century uh country also you can figure out uh, italian yeah, 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 uh, yeah. and like travel through asia and spend some yeah, time yeah ki purana of... travel italian wale ka naam malum hai yaar marco polo it is marco polo uh, fuck polo is correct 10 points to neville sha uh neville ko kuch faltu cheeze pata hai history mein अरे नहीं रे थर्टीन सेंचुरी ओल्ड इटालियन ट्रेवलर एक ही तो आदमी है ना 
और वास्को डिगामा जो पोर्चुगीज है तो और क्या ओके विच ब्रिंग्स एस टू दी टू दी एंड ऑफ क्वार्टर फाइनल फाइव uh we will now quickly check the scores and we will see who qualifies and plays when we'll also say thank you i'll be really surprised if it's me <laughs> uh, is there a way where we can team up saurav and saurav can team up and we can come as a duo and combine our points for all the rest even if you combine Thanks for, for the fun man. fact even if both of you combine <laughs> it does not make any difference to your score <laughs> your score particularly remains the same <laughs> if you add like the mathematical marvel you know if you add sort of score to anyone in the world nothing changes hey but uh, <laughs> next time if you ask the same questions there is where i'll be <laughs> Listen, oh, I'm very amused by uh, Ghosh's uh, quiz personality. It's my personality in life. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Oh, really? uh, so, uh, yeah. so sounds guys, like uh, a good thing. Yeah. Time for Great. time for the uh, ending the quiz uh, and start saying who won. Though the winner of today's quiz, uh, we actually have a tie at the top. But like as I've said, as I've told before, uh, in case of a tie, who reaches the score first will be considered the winner. So in that case, Malika is the winner of the quiz with sixty points. Okay, and the runner-up of the quiz is Neville, also on sixty points. Sorapan thirty-five. Third runner-up. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so uh, Malika uh, wins uh, this quiz, and Malika now is a part of semi-final two, along with Abbas Dalal and Vadal Setia. Neville Shah. Uh, is the runner up of the quiz and nevil shah is part of semi final 1 with uh, vishal dayama and anirban das gupta hey, okay kya group sir main nahi aa raha good good acha dayama ke sath nahi khelna usko sab pata hota hai faltu mein and thank you once more i will leave bye leave. ghosh bye pan bye bye bye, 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 bye guys thanks a lot